okay dear friends uh, this is my illustration Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz he is a great philosopher so and mathematician scientist you can see here I have used lots of brushes lots of strokes so uh, Shutterstock uh, have reject this uh, robotic uh, issue that's bitmap uh, rasterize effect so in this tutorial I will show you how to fix this problem so this is a very common issue uh, so I am showing you here you can put something effect here you can put a circle here so uh, it will definitely a realistic effect but I'm not going to do this thing here just I'm uh, showing you okay you can put this button here and removing this kind of effect and when you are going to submit your image your illustration to Shutterstock always remember expand everything you see here and when I'm saving these things uh, in this for Shutterstock replace it but yes but before doing this in uh, EPS 10 or 8 cancel this before doing this I uh, want to show you something that's that's the problem okay the vector contains either the pixel based bitmap object or raster effect effects remove this effect or object and upload uh, the file again so if you hit the learn more you can see the what happened so if I uh, I'm uh, going to show you something uh, if I uh, I'm deleting this uh, hiding these things I'm just showing you from the first so go to the appearance panel here this is the appearance panel if I put anything any rasterize things any effect uh, it will definitely show you uh, now see what Sutter stock country uh, reviewer um, said so this is a transparency opacity mask and the drop shadow is very Gaussian blur and little blur effect so this kinds of effect don't use this kind of effect my suggestions this kind of effect will automatically your illustrations will be rejected so unacceptable example here shadow created using the drop shadow so don't use drop shadow and here the acceptable example here you can see the gradient using here the gradient to uh, making this kind of shadow okay so uh, see this this is very important here links and appearance these two things will helpful for you and these two things will identify your rasterize image your bitmap anything else so if you see this is Gaussian blur this is a pixel by something you have put in your illustrations uh, by default or you, know, uh, you don't know about this it's uh, happened just accidentally so remove this first okay I'm showing you here this is a Gaussian blur effect so I'm uh, just removing this uh, nonsense things I have made it here so uh, okay now there's a circle is uh, uh, see this there is a I go to this effect here there is an effect so if I put the Gaussian, Gaussian blur here so uh, generate uh, for this things as you can see this is Gaussian blur if I put this things uh, and see this appearance panel tells me you have put this Gaussian blur so remove these things because other stops will uh, kick your illustrations to you so uh, just little bit of rotating these things if you wrote Rotating these things, appearance panel, and selecting these things, and appearance panel. So if there is no effect, there is no effect. So you are confused. Go to the links. See, 
this is the things as a very important so selecting all of things and deleting on by one and but no you can't do this you can't delete uh, it, you should know one thing so you have to delete these things one by one so go to links here i'm showing you uh, this is a annoying thing so these things you have to uh, remove this so reset panel go to this in large view so you can see what happening here this is uh, the thing just rise images so one thing you should know where this link uh, images or where this rasterized things is bitmap type of things is uh, happen so that's locating here so remove this uh, things as eyebrows here locating those things uh, remove these things okay see if I enlarge this this is a small effect small brush strokes okay so remove those things uh, so that's this or one more the last effect one so go to this link and the last editor will showing you this thing so there is no link uh, now no rasterized bitmap type of thing so i need to go to some brushes uh, here i have used this kind of brush uh, so i I'm going to use this kind of brush uh, so first of all with the eyedropper tool go to strokes okay opacity change the opacity opacity here change this opacity so here I'm not uh, looking good it's not looking good so deleting everything so and just try another brush uh, to fix this issue uh, no 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 it's uh, it's not looking good so I'm removing this things also and just putting the traditional versus my versus traditional versus this one uh, it's uh, this things is okay now this is good but here I need to change the uh, things change this things now it's okay now it's looking good here some S curve and C curve remember this uh, I have already uh, taught uh, you is about S curve and C curve this is a very important when you are new way in uh, drawing or illustration so s card and c card uh, is very important so uh, see this fix this all of issues there is no effect go to these links there are no links uh, such rasterized things so this is uh, nice so i'm going to sh save this Save, save these things. Uh, make and uh, rasterize. Don't rasterize these things and uh, expand everything. I need to expand everything. Okay, now expanding everything. Uh, there, so here. Now save this thing. Uh, set a stop. Got filled. Will help. That means for set a stop. Now go to this. EPS 10 or 8 uh, should be acceptable before this this uh, high resolutions hit ok now it's uh, taking some time so it's up to your computer graphics or computer program so now clear all of these things and now magic happen your problem is solved out so upload these things if we upload there are lots of uh, things okay lots of illustrations i have done so just uh, taking some time it's up um, depending on your internet speed so uh, in my uh, 
uh, side I have used uh, internet uh, that's uh, uh, good speed okay have good speed so it's uh, uh, taking some time because this file is bigger uh, so it's uh, taking some time uploading some time this mm, it's up to your internet speed uh, so it's uh, finish uh, after finishing uh, uh, click here next so it will show you something then uh, refresh refresh lots of time okay finally let's upload it here so it's taking lots of time uh, for refreshing and uploading so i think your problem is solved out and thank you for watching this video tutorial if you really think this is helpful please give me a like for this video tutorial thank you very much for watching this and subscribe this channel bye bye